good evening everybody good good evening sir so i'll be operating on a patient with grade 3 cataract okay theek hai sab bol liya kuch reh to nahi gaya kuch nahi respect se zyada chalo theek hai theek hai andar aa raha hai aa raha hai aa raha hai chalo Every team, could you just check if we have OT connection or not? So this is a mainboard machine I am using from last two three months, and almost operating every grade of cutter on this machine. Sir, is this a straight tip or a Kelman tip? This is straight tip. Right side of the patient. I am sitting on the superior side and giving. temporal incision this is bevel down technology i am doing modified horizontal chopping every team can we have uh, the interface of the feco machine the audience may like to see that you can see the chamber stability in this machine is excellent the hold was also quite good hold is very good and this uh, machine is having like very good stroke uh, length like 120 microns which is help me in cutting down the nucleus softly gently aaiye karo ye 5 ah bhai 5500 this is this is like a basis jet i am using for polishing of posterior capsule I'm planning to recleanse and cornea is pre-scratched on slit lamp at 126 degrees. You can see the mark over here. Yes, we can see the mark. So this is uh, our toric lamp, which is I'm going to implant, and uh, this one of the it's. So this is uh, double haptic, like. hydrophobic lens i i don't think any other company is manufacturing this kind of lens and as we all are aware of using this hydrophobic hydrophilic double haptic lens but this is for the first time aro is manufacturing this kind of lens for toric and and it's having angulation of around 60 degree in at optic haptic junction which gives excellent stability So I'll be like hydro implanting this lens with coaxial. So I'm using a BSS jet with 26 gauge light. Me dikhma tha. Light me dikhta ro. Bahut acha. So chopper. Advantage of double optics is that you, we don't have to like leave it under shot like three to five degree. We can exactly leave at the axis. Little bit of hydration of the bone and surgery is over. Light me, dekhe mata, thoda sa. Sir, any specific advantage of this uh, intraocular lens that you are using? Ah, uh, so this lens is having like double haptic and uh, it prevents like uh, uh, that fenestration between the haptics usually get adherent and it prevent uh, capsule overcome over the optics and. it's prevent rotational it's having excellent rotational stability because of that thing and uh, i have implanted more than 50 lenses so far and uh, none of these are having like any rotation after surgery and uh, like mono haptic lenses do take time and uh, sometimes you have to wait for like couple of seconds to uh, fix them and uh, there are chances of like this uh, rotation also and you have to uh, leave them in back like 3 to 5 degree under shot and then at after removal of speculum then you have to Right, fine, I do the final fine. alignment, but uh, I uh, for uh, uh, for this lens you don't have to leave that thing. Like you have to just leave this lens at desired axis, and then you can just let do hydrate, and you can remove the speculum. I hardly seen any little bit of entry chamber fluctuation. Hardly rotate this lens because of its double optic. Any okay. questions from the audience? Thank you, Doctor Lalit. It was a wonderful surgery. Thank you.